hi guys and welcome to my channel today i'll be making some pepper sauce that is right pepper sauce i have two simply amazing recipe that i cannot wait to share with you guys today so without further ado let's get into it so in my blender i'm going to go ahead and add all my ingredients which is my scotch bonnet pepper i'm going to add some garlic i have some cilantro also known as bandania or shadow benny I'm also going to go in with some salt and some white distilled vinegar. Once all my ingredients are into my blender, I'm just going to go ahead and start the blending process. And I'll show you guys what the next step look like. Oh man, now that the blending process is over you should smell it it's so spicy my god so now i'm gonna place the pepper sauce into a bowl once i put it into a bowl i'm gonna actually add a little bit of vinegar more into the blender and get the excess pepper sauce out i'm actually gonna go ahead and heat up some oil once the oil is hot i'm gonna go in and test some of the pepper sauce now that the oil is hot i'm gonna add all my pepper sauce and I'm going to let that fry up for a couple of minutes and let all the flavor mellow together and combine. So in the meantime that this is frying up, the pepper sauce is frying up, I'm going to just keep stirring it. And please don't forget that all the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. I call this fried pepper sauce because it has an amazing kick to it. And the longer it stays, the more spicier it gets. The oil, it might seem like it's a lot of oil for some people, but it's really not once you start mixing it, everything together. And I'll show you that at the end process. But you can also take out some of the oil if you wanted to and use it for some mushroom soup. Uh, baste some chicken, put it on some salad for some heat and flavor. It's amazing. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the fried pepper sauce back into our bowl that we had earlier scrape everything out of the frying pan and now i'm gonna go ahead and add some more vinegar to get the consistency that i wanted and i'm gonna whisk this up and i'm gonna taste it and season it with some more salt if it's needed to but this is perfect for me so that's all there is to the first version guys it's that simple now for the next version it's similar so let's get right into it so now, again, in my blender, I have a little bit of water. I'm going to go ahead and add all of my scotch bonnet peppers. And once I add my peppers, I'm going to go ahead with some garlic. And then I'm going to add some salt. Now, I'm going to actually also go ahead and add a piece of cucumbers. And um, once I add the cucumber, I'm going to add a little bit more water and i'm going to blend this all together and i will show you what it looks like once i finish blending so on to the next step nice so now that we finished blending the pepper sauce i'm gonna pour it into a bowl i'll add some more vinegar into the blender and shake off the excess and pour that back into the bowl and this is the perfect consistency for me i'm gonna give this a stir and then i'm going to taste it and adjust the seasoning with some more salt if needs to and that's pretty much all there is to this pepper sauce you can go ahead and add a piece of green mango if you have it you can blend it up the same time with the pepper sauce but i don't have any so i'm not gonna put it but otherwise than that it's pretty much you flavoring it according to your taste buds so i hope you guys do like this video if you do like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe or share the video and happy cooking guys and i will see you in the next bye